Dr. Janos Henneke. For his study subjects are nowhere near as accessible. There are roughly five to 8,000 Abbott's boobies nesting in the island's tallest trees. But they constitute the last population of the species on Earth, which makes Dr. Henneke's research extremely important. To protect the, the birds efficiently, we need to know what their requirements are, what they need, and what the threats are, and we're trying to find this out. Satellite tracking has become the method of choice, and the technology behind it is astounding. So that's a GPS logger with a movement sensor, and will give us information on where the bird is and what it does in three axes, 3D movements. To monitor their behavior in the ocean, they are fitted with time depth recorders. Uh, diving always means it's going for fish, it's going for or flying fish um, or squid. So we want to know where it actually dives, not only what area it covers, but where within these areas there are their foraging grounds. The Abbott's booby was always considered to be one of the most pelagic, most oceanic boobies, but it isn't the case, at least when the chicks are small. But they travel very long distances when the chicks are large, but when they're small, they're really sh surprisingly close to shore. And so the water around Christmas Island are really important for them. So there has to be lots of prey and good food supply for them to raise the chicks. Tropical seabirds are not the best divers in the world, so the health of the whole ocean ecosystem is critical to their survival. Flying fish they prey upon is very deep in the water column, so then they need the tuna driving up the flying fish to the surface that it gets accessible to them. So if there's no tuna, the prey is actually still there, but they cannot get to it. So they would starve in front of a full plate because the flying fish is too deep down. To see the last of these magnificent birds suffering such a fate would be horrific. A loss few would feel as keenly as Janos. They're so, such an old species, older than all the Sulid species. You, when you look in their eyes, you can see they have a secret. They know the world. They know something of the world we don't know. It's just beautiful. Thank you.